All right, welcome to uh, the new music blog on 104.3 MyFM. I am Lisa Fox with the lovely Rebecca Ferguson. Thank you. Now, don't get mad because I can already feel it coming because you're from the UK. I'm going to, you know, develop an accent myself as we're talking because I just <laughs> make things, you know, just with the accent, it sounds so much lovelier. So I might, Thank you. You might, I, I might borrow it on accident. I've been doing that while I'm here. I've been you, developing the American accent. Oh, no, don't yeah. do that. Oh, no. Hey, y'all. Oh, no, that's, I guess that's more country. <laughs> don't don't let us take that, that uh, beautiful voice away from you. Ugh, and um, that voice so Stunning. Thank you. Well, and obviously we're uh, we're just learning about you after uh, well the X Factor kind of put you yeah. on the map after Did, you were yeah. finalist in uh, 2010. Yeah. Um. So you're like a super huge deal over in the UK. And now we're just getting to to know you here yeah. in the states with the release celebrating the release of uh, your brand new album Heaven. Yeah. Which is already out there and then coming to uh, being released here in the states on uh, May the 29th. Yeah. But let's talk about your journey before X Factor. Yeah. And obviously with a voice like that. You had to know. As, how young were you when you knew you had something, something special there? I was, I was singing from like age three when I was little. Um, yeah, so I was just always singing around the house. And then, as I got to my teenage years, I started to develop writing and started to take myself to like singing lessons and really wanted to train it and and get it strong. And yeah, I've just always known, always wanted to sing. What was your family's reaction? to me? Did they hear that? They're like, ooh. You know what? I was like something. I was no, I was like the annoying kid in the house that like wouldn't shut up. <laughs> so it was like Becky, shut up, because <laughs> I'd be like singing really loud around the house and putting like Whitney Houston on really loud. So I didn't think the I didn't think they really understood it really when I was little. Yeah, but I was just so ambitious and so determined, and I just be like, well, I'm off to singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, and then I saw your audition tape. And by the way, gorgeous. I love your style. And I even saw on the uh, X Factor audition tape. And thank God, we, you know, we can see the X Factor, thank God, for YouTube. Yeah. There's so much great stuff on YouTube of you. But you showed up to the audition dressed so stunningly. That I love it. So this is your style all the time? I, I do. I like quite, like, ladylike. And, um, yeah. Gorgeous. I'm a big fan of, like, Audrey Hepburn and Madeline Monroe, Grace Kelly. I love, love all it. that old school Hollywood glamour. Yeah. Platform pumps are Platform. so in right now. Yeah. <laughs> they look so cute. Um, okay, so the X Factor audition tape. So yeah. you show up there, dressed stunning, yeah. with your kids, yeah. and you're a student. So how crazy for you to, you know, even attempt to take on the, the whole TV thing when your life was so busy. It was it was hard. It was and it was. I remember there being feeling like there was a lot of pressure on me and. The day of the audition, I took my whole family with me for support, but I remember feeling like, gosh, if this doesn't go well, what am I going to do? I've brought my whole family here. And, but, um, yeah, no, it was hard, but I got through it. Yeah. Talk about your kids. Oh, they're so lovely. They're just the, the most lovely children, and they're such a blessing to me, and um, they're really enjoying the music. And I was going to say, are they proud, proud yeah, of mommy? Yeah, they love it, yeah. I mean, none of, they're not very musical, my children. They're, they're more very artistic, um, but they're really enjoying the music and they like do little shows for me when I come home and do little dances and things to the songs. So Simon Cowell, talk about the impact that Simon had in your life, you know, on the yeah. show, obviously. Um, but now I guess he's your, he's kind of your boss since yeah. you're signed to his record label. Yeah. But he tweets very nice things about he's you. So really that's a good nice. thing. You're Simon, yeah. With Simon Cowell on your side, that's, that's a good place to be. It's good. Yeah, he was really supportive of me on the show and he took a risk on me really because when I was on the show, I was literally so into myself and, and so like... Um, I looked at the floor on my first audition. I wasn't confident and he really took a risk and believed in me and he was really good to me. So yeah, I'm really grateful. I love, um, I heard that, you know, and I know sometimes with these TV shows you hear about these record deals and they're, it's very controlling. And um, when you get a, a record deal, they're like, okay, yeah. here's a pop, here's a hit song for you. You're yeah. gonna sing this song, you're gonna do this song. But you kind of, you're like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna write all my own original yeah. stuff. I just think you only get one shot at this and I wanted it to be an album that I looked back at when I'm old and grey and say, you know, that was me. Um, and something that I'm proud of, and I knew that I could only do that if I, if I wrote my own songs and made my own music, really. And thankfully, um, the label was supportive and they let me do it. Yeah. Yeah, well, so far, the sounds, the, the song sounds so good. Thank Talk you. about Shoulder to Shoulder. What's that one Sh about? Shoulder to Shoulder's really um, quite a risky song to put on the album. It, it, I wrote it about destructive relationships and relationships where people are just so mean to each other and they should be nice to each other. And um, there was lyrics in there that were a bit like, oh, like a bit sen like a bit sensitive. And, and the, 
the lyrics tend to hit a nerve with people when I sing it. Um, but I thought it was a subject that needed to be spoken about because it's so common nowadays with relationships. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those songs that's quite quite emotional to sing and emotional to write. Mm. When you um, got the record deal, did you already have a bunch of songs or ideas scribbled down or did you start diving in You know, once it became the project? I did, but I literally put them to one side. I don't know why, I just thought fresh start, fresh, fresh music, fresh start. And I was working with different types of producers um, and writers, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to start from scratch. Nothing real but love. That yeah. song, love, I mean, again, all the songs we've heard so far are so good, but that one especially it stands, stands out because the message. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanted it to be one of those songs. I remember the day that I wrote it. I wrote it with Egg White, who's just an amazing writer. Um, I remember being upset that day and it, the whole um, fame thing and coming from a big reality TV show was new to me and it completely changed my life. And I started to think about happiness and what made me happy and and what was important. And I remember having a conversation with Egg and I said, you know, the important things aren't money, they're not cars, they're not houses, but it's it's the people that you love and it's your family. They're the most important thing. And with that, he said, right, we've got a song. <laughs> and then we started to build on that and, and we wrote nothing real but love, but I wanted it to be a positive message. Yeah. Do you think it'll be hard to maintain, you know, like such a great attitude as, you know, things go on in the business and yeah. five albums later, you'll be like, ah, um, forget everybody. You know what, I don't know, I hope I stay grounded and humble and I hope that my career goes well. I can't say, I, I'm always one of those people I don't want to say, oh I'll be fine because I don't know how I'm going to be, but all I know is I'm going to try to keep my feet on the ground and keep the most important people in my life first, yeah. Well thank you so much for sharing thank your music you. with us, congratulations on Heaven, thank again you. coming out uh, here in the States on May the 29th, Rebecca Thanks Ferguson. So thank you. Mm.